it's okay to go back and revisit the path that you are on because maybe that isn't the direction you want to go anymore. And that might be with your relationship. That might be with your health and fitness journey. Always go back and revisit it. But what's important is that when you revisit it and or starting it for the first time, that vision, you have to get crystal clear. What's up, everyone? If you're looking to be inspired, motivated, educated, and entertained, you have come to the right place. Welcome to the Bomb Mom Podcast, the podcast where we explore your fitness, life mindsets, and actions that help you become unstoppable. You're worth it, and it's time to finally make changes in your life that will last you the rest of your life. Welcome to the Bomb Mom Podcast. I am Melissa Vogel, your host. And today I have a little co-host with me. It's my little mini me. This is my daughter, Jo. Say hello. Hi. She is wanting to be on the podcast. She wants to do it, but at the same time, she's super nervous. Huh? Yeah. We're going to work on her podcasting voice, but she's doing really, really good because she's actually been on this podcast more than I think anyone else, right? Yeah, more than my sisters. Yeah. Yeah. And we did two with all three of them, I think. And then she did one with my dear friend, Veronica Cisneros and her daughter. And we were talking about like friendships and adult friendships and everything. And it was a really, really good conversation. So I'm excited to have her back and I'm excited that she wants to be a part of it. But it is scary, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because you can't see anyone. We have cameras in front of us and stuff, but like you can't really see anyone. You're like, are they listening? Are they not? I'm probably gonna have to like push her head forward so she gets closer to the mic. All the things that we cover. But welcome to the show, everyone. I'm so excited that I have my little sidekick here with us today. If you are new to the podcast, know that this is not normal. I normally don't have my children on with me. Like I said, we've done it a couple of times, but welcome to the show. I'm so glad that you landed on this one because we're going to be diving into a few things. We're going to be talking about our vision, who we want to become, how important that is to develop and continuously work on as an adult. So you know these things, you can pass them on to your kids. We're going to be talking a little bit about the boot camp, all the things. On this episode. And if you're returning, welcome back. I'm so glad you guys are here. It's January. Can you believe Christmas is over? I can't believe it's 2024. That too. I can't believe it's 2024. What was your favorite Christmas present that you got this year? We'll do a little ice breaking, you guys. We're just going to warm her up really quick. From my dad, I got an electric bike and then... Insert eye roll. Go ahead. Yeah, she doesn't like that present so much. But from my mom, I got a lot of cute clothes to run track in and work out in. So of course I liked all those. Yeah. I did really good this year. You guys with like Christmas presents and stuff, because now they're at the age where I'm like, what do I want? Because whatever I want, they're going to want and just steal from me. So I'll just get them things that I want. And then I know that they'll want them and we'll be fine. Yeah. (laughs) It was a really good strategy to have this year. So it was a good Christmas. I can't believe it's 2024. I can't believe we're already into January. Like we're going to blink and it's going to be February. It's like we're restarting like all over again. I know, which is a good thing. Yeah. It's a really good thing. Having a fresh start is like the best. And what's really cool is that you could do that every single morning when you wake up. You could do it every single Monday. You can do it the beginning of the month. You could do it the beginning of the year. Like there's no rules, right? Yeah. You can have a fresh start anytime. Reset whenever you want. Absolutely. And one thing that I am doing to help all of you moms listening out there to reset and to reignite that fire inside is the Reignite Yourself Boot Camp. That starts January 16th. It's totally free. It's five days of free training from me, not my kid. My kid won't be there. But my goal of this training, we've done it before. You guys have heard me talk about the podcast before. So I'm just going to touch on this really quick. But the goal of the podcast is to help you guys light that fire inside to get going again, to like get restarted. Because I guarantee last year at this time, by the time you hit May, many of you fell off. So many people probably fell off by February. Like, let's be real, right? So we want to help you guys reignite that fire, learn, train, get inspired, feel motivated, like all of the things, and then take action and move forward with that because we can't rely on motivation. It's a joke, right? Did you feel motivated, Jovina, this morning when you got up and had to go to track? No. No? Why not? Weren't you excited? I was, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm tired. I went to bed late last night. 
her fault. Yeah, that was my fault. But, but you didn't feel motivation. Not really. Mm-mm. So what do we do when we don't feel motivated? Do it anyways. Oh. <laughs> she looks at me and she's like, I don't know. You got up and you did it anyways. Oh, yeah. I was we- like, I like it when you say like, but did you die? You're going to survive this. Like, You're going to survive. You're but did you die? But did you die? And I talked about you. So anyways, let me wrap up the boot camp. So get in, you guys, get in. <laughs> Different topic. <laughs> Before I start jumping around here, go to the link in the show notes. You can also just, it's a really cool, busy to bomb, fitmom.com and then forward slash boot camp. Click on that link. It'll take you to the page. I'm doing it in my for life group. It's totally free. And you want to get in now. Okay. I'm trying to think my episodes go live on Thursdays. Get in now because I'm starting the live workouts. We're going to be doing live ab workouts, booty workouts. So if you get in after we've already done some, don't worry, they're saved. They're in there for you. And it's not just me getting on the ground and like showing you what to do and like running you through a workout. I want to show you what to do. That's what I meant to say. I want to show you how to actually do it. So you're not doing a hundred and thousand crunches. You're doing like 10 really effective ones. And then you build up to 50. And by the time you get to hundred, you're like, Holy crap, that was effective and efficient. That's what I want to teach you guys. And that's what we're going to be doing in the boot camp throughout everything too. But it's fun. Get in there. It's totally free. Trust me, this knowledge is going to help you rediscover that inner goddess. Like rediscover yourself and make 2024 be the year of change. Like you actually freaking do it. Okay. So that's all in the show notes. So what I was going to say before is this kid over here where you got cameras on us and stuff she's over here yawning and like are you tired from getting up from your practice yeah yeah i was talking about you on a couple episodes ago about doing it scared like one of my favorite sayings from yours Mm -hmm. it's just like reassurance for me is to say do it scared like oh my god i'm so scared for like my first track meet or something like oh my god i'm so terrified or whatever and then i just think like do it scared, then just do it scared. That's right. Like you're going to do it anyways, right? You're not going to be like, I'm not going to chicken out. Yeah. I'm I'm not going to do it. I'm going to chicken out. You're going to do it anyways. That's fine. And you know what? I'm not going to take the scared out of you either. I'm not going to like, no, you can't feel scared. You're going to do it. And guess what? You're just going to do it scared. Just do it scared. That has been such a big, yeah. It's been such a big (laughs) theme for us this year as a family, because we've had a lot of shifts and adjustments and changes. We've had a lot of changes over the last like five years. It's been a lot. You guys are champs. (laughs) They've been with me through it all. But everything is scary. The next step, the next phase, like everything we're doing is scary and we're just going to keep moving through it scared, right? Mm -hmm. But you have to know what are you moving through all of that for? And what are you moving through it towards? Like what's your end goal? And I wanted to talk today a little bit about like your vision and what that end goal looks like. Because everyone says, you know, oh yeah, I'm going to set a goal and and I'm just going to crush it. Okay. Well, yeah, that's great. But like goals and having goals and having a vision are two totally different things. And they sound very similar, right? Like, oh, I have a vision. That must mean I have a goal or I have a goal. That means I have a vision. Not necessarily because let's say, you know, in the fitness world, you want to lose 30 pounds. Okay, awesome. You have a goal of losing 30 pounds or you want to increase your time and track, right? You have a goal of running something faster. Awesome. You're not going to wake up and just be that person that's going to hit that goal. Mm-mm. But everyone thinks they are. Everyone's like, I just need to set a goal. I just need to do this. I hate that saying. People say it all the time. I know what I need to do. I just need to do it. What is going to get you to that goal? What steps need to take So you actually hit it. And I'm going to tell you right now, one thing that's not getting taught to the kids, it's not getting taught in the fitness world. You don't see anyone talking about this at the gym is your vision. And it's super important to have this vision and to talk about it. So these kids have an understanding of it now as kids and they take it with them into adulthood, but no one's teaching this. This vision is the first step in our bomb mom program. We take you through four different like layers of becoming a bomb mom and having a vision and your person be and who you want to become is step one. It's not goal setting. It's not all of those things. It's all about step one vision. And last week when I was live in my group, I was telling them like, hey, I want you guys to go back and revisit that vision. This is something we have to do constantly. It's constantly going to be a visit and readjusting and seeing if it even still applies. How many times have you set a goal, Jovina, or, you know, you're like, I want to be this. And then life changed. Many times. And then you're like, 
I don't know if I want to be that anymore. I don't know if I want to be here anymore. And you had to rethink things and revisit it. In the big world, like when I'm older, I always wanted to dream of being a firefighter. Yeah, you were obsessed with being I a firefighter. I was obsessed with being a firefighter. Uh-huh. And now as I get older, I like view things differently and I see all the aspects that go into being a firefighter. And now I'm like, I don't know if I want to be that anymore. Mm-hmm. And that's okay. And that's okay because I'll do bigger and better things than becoming a firefighter. Yeah. Or maybe you go back. Maybe you're like, oh, now I'm bigger and I'm older and I want to do that again. Maybe I do decide to. And that's okay. It's okay to go back and revisit the path that you are on because maybe that isn't the direction you want to go anymore. And that might be with your relationship. That might be with your health and fitness journey. Always go back and revisit it. But what's important is that when you revisit it and or starting it for the first time, that vision you have to get crystal clear. You have to know where you're going so you can end up there. I've said this before on the podcast. It's been a while, but I say this all the time, especially to newer people. Imagine using Waze or like Google Maps and you never put an end destination in. What will happen? Keep driving. The little blue squiggly line will just follow you everywhere you go, right? That's exactly what your goals and your visions are like too. If you don't have an end destination, if you don't get crystal clear and know exactly where you want to go, what path you're going to take, I'm going to enter in this address. This is where I'm going to go. And this is where I'm going to envision myself going. You'll never get there. You'll never reach a destination. And that blue squiggly line that, you know, tracks you and the path that you're on and everything, it's going to change over and over again. The end destination might even change, but that's okay. But big picture know where you want to end up. And parents listening, this is so important for you guys to know and to like grasp and get a handle on and have like some sort of concept over it. Because if you, again, if you don't know how to do it, they're not going to know how to do it. And they're going to be freaking 35 years old going, no one's ever talked to me about this. Like, what do you want me to do? I don't understand. They'll be lost and they're going to struggle even more. So having that vision, I want you guys to think of it as having like a really wide camera lens right? Really wide, really broad. And then as you work towards your goal, it kind of closes in and then you get a little bit more specific, but to starting to start off, keep it wide, like cover everything. So if we were talking about someone who wanted to, let's just use weight loss again, because it's easy. It's an easy example. Say you're someone who wants to lose 30 pounds, right? And you're like, okay, that's my goal. And that's where I want to become awesome. Going through those steps You have to know who is she? What does she wear? What's her hair look like? What are her habits look like? And in Ba Mom, as you guys have heard me talk about before, we call this your person B. All of the steps that lead up to her is your vision. That's your vision. Know what she wears. Know how she works out. Like, what are her daily habits? When she goes on vacation, does she work out? When her kids are in school, does she hit the gym then? Does she wait till she gets home? Like, cover as much as you can to get very familiar with this. And as you are getting familiar with it and your brain is starting to be like, okay, okay, I get it. I get, okay, this is who I want to become. All right, all right. By the time you hit that goal or you get close to it, that vision has prepared you so much that it's not scary anymore. It's not scary because you've had practice. You know what you're working towards. You know exactly who you want to become and where you're going. Doesn't that sound better and easier than just saying, this is my goal. I'm going to lose 30 pounds. This is who I want to become. Yep. So in kid terms, you can use it with sports. Okay. What's your end goal? If they're doing track, that's coming up soon. You know, it's a spring sport. You want to run a certain distance and have a certain pace and have an end time. Okay, great. In order to become that person that has that time, distance, whatever the goal is, what kind of life do you have to live to become that? What do you have to do? You have to work hard and do things that are going to get you to that destination that you want to get to. What's that look like? You want me to specific yeah. things? Yeah, what does that look like? Like, What does she eat at night? When does she go to bed? How does she study? Oh, well, yeah, sleeping, all the and, sleeping and eating what you eat and all of that stuff are all components to what your goal is. But those in-between things, there's a lot of things that go into it like 
doing different workouts to yeah, what improve you look like? your speed yeah. and weightlifting a certain way to improve your strength. So she does certain training. Does certain training, eats certain things. Well, do you think she's downing candy on the couch at nine o'clock at night? If you don't want to get to your goal, then no, you wouldn't <laughs> want to eat candy at night. No. Now, the unfair thing okay, and parents will know this well, what's super unfair is that, yeah, kids could sit on the couch at nine o'clock at night and down candy and still hit their goal and run their little asses off the next day and be fine. We can't do that. Pretty sure I did that the other day. Yeah, pretty sure you probably did. We can't do that as adults. So yes, they have an unfair advantage. Kids can stay up and party and do stupid stuff and then wake up and perform in the morning just fine. Like they didn't just get two hours of sleep, right? That's super unfair. Hey, so I thought this would be a good time to give you guys a little bit more information on my online program, Busy to Bomb Fit Mom. If you are looking to be motivated, inspired, finally get off your butt and do the things that you want to do with your health and your fitness and your workout and your body and hit those goals, we need to talk. Busy to Bomb Fit Mom is a full online program. It's a 90-day program that's going to get you into the best shape of your life. Now, is it an easy diet plan to follow or all these amazing workouts that I'm just going to hand you on a silver platter? No. This program is going to love and support you. It's going to motivate you, get you heading in the right direction. But you don't have to do it alone. You're going to have an entire support system with you. You're going to have me as your coach, coaching you on nutrition, your workouts. I become your virtual personal trainer. So if this is something that you're looking for and you just need that extra push and someone on your heels telling you that you're worth it and it's time, we need to talk. Visit www.busytobombfitmom.com. Com. Book a call with me. Let's see if this is a fit for you. All right, back to the show. However, parents, we can't tell them this, okay? So don't ever tell any other teen that I'm telling you this, Joe. Okay. This is our secret. You can't let it out. Okay. We don't tell them that. We still want to help them practice their vision and let them know like, hey, this is your person B. She runs this distance in this time. She's hit this goal. These are all the steps that are going to lead up to her. All of the habits. If you guys haven't read the book, it's called Atomic Habits. Oh my God, it's amazing. Get the audio book. It's really easy to listen to. But he talks about and dives in to all of the little habits that are going to lead up to the environment and the goals and everything. It's not just waking up, having a goal, boom, staring at it. That's what I'm going to achieve. No, that's not how it works. We want all of these little micro habits that are going to lead us to there. Do you see kids at school right now, Jovina, having a vision or a goal? Or do you see any kids walking around that you like aspire to be right now? I don't aspire to be anyone, but I definitely think that some kids walk around like on the basketball team because on the basketball team, they're in season right now. And I think a lot of them have goals to play in college or uh -huh. do certain things. So, yeah, I definitely think... Especially the... Are they acting that way? Are they acting like... Some of them do. Others of them make bad decisions and <laughs> it wouldn't really get them to where they want to be, but others do act that way. You can see some of them working yeah, hard. definitely. And trying to achieve their goals. Definitely. I'm so glad you said that because... Like, when I think back when I was in high school, there were definitely, like, especially being a freshman and seeing seniors... I could tell they worked hard. They had goals and they were putting in the work and stuff. They weren't the kids, you know, wasted at a party. And now that's why I'm asking you because I question it. our youth a lot. I'm always like, where is your mother? <laughs> I said that before on another podcast, but it's true. I'm always asking you guys that like when I see something, I'm like, oh, where is your mother? Where is your mother? And it's so sad because I think there's a lot of kids that have no direction. They have no clue what a vision even looks like. And unfortunately, I think their parents have no clue what a vision looks like and what they're working towards. And do you guys see how it just generationally just gets passed down and passed down and passed down and the people never even talk about this? What worries you about your generation? There's a lot of things that worry me about <laughs> uh, this generation. Like what? The amount of kids my age or even like a year or two older than me that drink alcohol and use drugs that's mm. definitely illegal but they continue to do it stuff like that probably because of their family environment well i think a lot of it has been it's all been 
going on. I mean, kids have been drinking at young ages and well, doing stupid yeah, stuff forever, I know. but it's happening more and more. And the level of things that our kids are getting into, it's increasing. It's getting more dangerous. It's getting worse in some areas. I mean, we've been doing it forever, but. Well, I know that, but I feel like as time goes on, I feel like more and more kids do it as they get younger and younger. Yeah. You're a freshman. You're 15 years old and you're seeing it. I had a sister like you do that was a senior in high school. So I was exposed to more because I would like hang out with her and then I would see what that's the how I kids. feel like yeah. hanging out with seniors. Yeah, you hang out with a lot of seniors. School. Yeah. And so we see more. You're probably exposed more than I don't know, maybe than the average freshman. I don't know. But I go up to the campus and I see so many kids that are just lost or stuck on their phones and I have conversation with some of the athletes and like, okay, well, what are our goals? What are we working towards? And it's like just a blank stare sometimes. And that's not judging them or, you know, being like, oh my God, you're a lost cause. How do we help this? How do we fix it? You know, how do we empower them? And I have a lot of answers to that question, but bringing it back to everything with even the, the boot camp, the role of this podcast, what I do as a coach parents, if we don't keep improving ourselves, if we don't keep working on us, our kids will forever be lost. And then that's going to get passed on to your grandkids. And every generation will continuously be the same. And I know we don't want that. So I'm going to invite everyone today to start thinking about just your vision. Okay. Who do you want to become? And if you are a bomb mom listening to this, I want you to revisit it. Okay. If you're someone that I worked with before in the past, and you're like, oh, yeah, 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 I know this stuff. She's talking about vision, all that. I want you to go back. We're doing an onboarding group in January. We actually start next Monday. And I'm really, really excited about it because we have a lot of bomb moms that are re-onboarding. And it's it's such a powerful group. And we've all done the work before. But like we talked about again before, we're revisiting it. We're getting strong again. And the more practice you put in to revisiting it, working towards it, achieving, restructuring, doing it again, the stronger you get, the stronger that vision becomes and the more powerful it becomes. Another great tool is vision boards. I know it sounds super cheesy. I remember that movie, The Secret that we've watched before. No, you don't remember it? No. We, we have to watch it again. Okay. It's super cheesy and stuff. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but it all talks about like creating vision boards and focusing and what you think about, you bring about and all that stuff. But vision boards are a great way to train your brain, not in the sense of like, oh my God, we're praying to it or like it's magical. No, you don't put something on a board and then it just happens. You have to work towards it. However, it's a great tool to train your brain and your eyeballs. So what you see and what you focus on every single day, your brain accepts and it just becomes the norm. And you see those track shoes or you see that specific number 1509 or like whatever it means to you and your brain sees it and it thinks it and it supports it and it accepts it. So if you guys haven't created a vision board yet, I highly recommend you do it. And we have things like Pinterest now, right? Like I'm not a Pinterest girl, but we have things like Pinterest and you can make them on your phone and stuff, which is great. However, you want to be able to see it daily. So that's why I think you should, I'm a paper scissors tape kind of girl. I want you guys to do whatever works for you, but I will like tear things out of a magazine. I will cut, paste, and like create. I remember we were younger and we went to like Michael's and like all of those craft stores and you wanted us to find out what we wanted to do when we were older and like what our goals were and our plan. Mm -hmm. And we went to the store, we got big poster boards yep. and we found magazines, we found stickers, we found so many different things and we all put those what we wanted to be when we were so for example i really want a orange lamborghini when i'm older so i put that on my vision board i found it in a magazine and i cut it out and i put it on my vision board and for my sister she really wanted to play college volleyball this was like five years ago maybe yeah. it was a long time ago but she wanted to play college volleyball so she put volleyball players she put volleyball shoes mm -hmm. she put all of she cut it out and put it on a big poster board and that was her goal in life and we all slowly worked towards it to get those goals yeah and I'm I still am obviously my goals are different from when I was a lot yeah. younger <laughs> 10 <laughs> a lot younger but still like it's a good example and you made us hang it up in our room yeah and I 
literally woke up and saw the board every single every day. Every single day. And you know what happened? What happened? We moved. Oh, yeah. That's what happened to our vision boards. And then they got thrown away. Probably. And then they got thrown away and our life got turned upside down again. So that's going to be on our list of things to do this month yeah, for January. Remake vision board. Yes, we will be because I'm making my new one with the onboarding group. I'm going to be doing it with them. But it is, it's so fun to do with your kids, you guys. And don't judge it. If they want to put an orange Lamborghini on their vision board, like let okay, them. I'm a 15 year old girl. Like that's not a usual <laughs> thing that kids dream of when they're older, but it's something that makes me happy. And I would love to wake up and see something that makes me happy every day. Yeah. Well, think of all the steps that have to happen in order for you to be able to support an orange Lamborghini. So yeah, that's your goal. But like your life has to look and act and feel and be a certain way in order to get that, which that's going to lead you to an education, a job, money flowing, it responsibilities. Comes, it all comes back to what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Like my future depends on my decisions now. That's why I feel bad for all of the teenagers nowadays because they don't realize what they're doing right now. Like the drugs and stuff that they take at such a young age, they have no idea the effect that's that it's going to the effect that it's going to make I know. on when they're older. I know. Well, and it goes back to the whole thing that we were like kind of joking about. I'm like, don't tell the other teens, but you guys can get away with a lot of shit right now. Like yeah. you, you can eat the crap and it doesn't affect you. Whereas an adult does and we're like dead for four days. Stuff <laughs> like that doesn't have an well, effect, but. That whole like youth thing doesn't make your brain it doesn't allow teenager brains to go oh if i do this then this will happen it kind of like erases the whole consequence thing for you guys and then it's just it's up to us adults to be like hey if you do that if you partake in that if you have this kind of behavior or attitude it's going to result in that and we can warn and show consequences and everything but like you guys really have to understand that. And unfortunately, a lot of kids don't understand that. And a lot of kids don't have the parental guidance of pushing towards creating a vision and working towards more and doing all of that. But it's very true. What you guys do now directly affects your future. I can think back now, and it seems just silly and dumb, but I can think back now of like things that I did my teenage years or didn't do, didn't participate in that led me to where I'm at today in a good way. There's good and bad to it. Mm -hmm. Like not everything is bad. Not everything has a negative effect. Right. Some things do have a positive effect. Like how hard you're working in sports right now will have a positive effect for when you're in college. Oh, absolutely. Well, and it teaches you that discipline and that respect yeah. and hard work and dealing with things that aren't fair. Yeah. There's going to be unfair playing time. There's going to be unfair coaching. There's going to be unfair calls by refs and that's going to happen and you're going to get all that practice and exposure to that from sports. Mm -hmm. So you're right. You're absolutely right. It's not all bad at all. But having these conversations, you guys, having this, bringing this awareness to your kids and talking about like, what is your vision for yourself? Maybe. And don't be like, when you grow up, what are you going to do? Like, just, hey, what's your vision? What's your goal by summer? What do you want to achieve, you know, by the time summer hits? Like what would be really cool and break it down for them. And then parents do the same freaking thing with them. Don't just put it on them, do it together. And the more you work on these visions, the more you work on your goals and you get really clear on the person that you want to become, it's so cool to watch each other change and grow and focus on different things. Maybe you make a family vision board. Maybe everyone has their own individual one. Awesome. But then maybe you create a big family one. That's what we should do next weekend. A family one? A family vision board. And we'll put down the destinations of where we want to go for vacation, what kind of car we want to drive as a family, different toys we want to have, pictures of like just sitting down and having family dinner, right? So your brain is constantly focusing on, we all sit at the table, we all eat together. Like it doesn't have to be all toys and expensive items. Yeah. It can be the picture of our couch. And just that means to us, this is our safe place. This is where we come relax and talk. Like- Maybe a picture of our dogs to remind us of responsibilities that we have to take care of, but also just the joy and the laughter and the love that they bring us. Yeah. So your family vision board doesn't have to be orange Land Lamborghinis and trailers. No. It can be. They can it be on can there. Be. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. Joe, is there anything else you want to add to our amazing podcast today? Nope. I think you covered it all. 
We got it all. Mm -hmm. This was fun. I'm glad you did it. And it kind of broke it up because we've had a lot of guests on. I've been doing some solo episodes and I'm so glad that you got to come on and share a little bit of your wisdom and just, I don't know. It's always nice to hear from someone else and someone younger and your perspective on things and how you guys talk and act. and (laughs) And it reminds us too of how important it is to make changes for ourselves so we can pass it on and we have the knowledge and the reps in to help you guys make changes too. So everyone, make sure you check out the show notes. Go to busy2bombfitmom.com forward slash bootcamp. Get signed up for the Reignite Yourself Bootcamp. Create your vision board. Create a family vision board. And then post them. Like share them to Instagram or something. Share them and then tag me. I'd love to see them. I'd love to see what you guys have created and you come up with. And if this is something you've been meaning to do and you just keep putting off, well, here's your reminder. It's no mistake that we were talking about this today then. But get clear on that vision, you guys. Know exactly who you want to become, what direction you want to take, and lead your kids there with you. All right, everyone. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Until next time. This podcast is designed to provide accurate and authoritative information in regards to the subject matter covered. This is given with the understanding that neither the host practice of the practice or the guest are providing legal, mental health, nutritional, or other professional information. If you need a professional, you should find one.